Hey everyone, Aja here from Pandemonium, still at Terry and Scott's. I actually have been doing a lot of projects on Panda, which I will share in another video. But um, I do want to go back to Rife Lake, where we were at before we got to Terry and Scott's. Here's some clips from there. We are here at Rife Lake and got here yesterday. Yeah, so it was pretty busy considering it was the weekend and people were here to party. So we're gonna get going. The police had come by because there was a guy who started about, like, it was early. I don't know, like 7 a.m. in the morning. He came out and he was just hollering and talking and himself so uh, so the police did come by and talk to him but he wasn't doing anything I mean he wasn't hurting anybody so they can't make him leave or arrest him so um, they ended up just leaving and he's still here but he's I don't know if there are uh, mental issues because he was just out a moment ago um, talking to himself and he does it pretty loudly we are just gonna go ahead and find a different location, about 30 miles. I have um, a camp spot that is kind of private. No one knows about it. Um, I camped there with some friends. And that's where we're gonna go to. That's the guy right there. Um, the, my friends that were camping here said that uh, he just got here not too long ago. Well, it's unfortunate. That's him standing on the roadside with a blanket on him. <laughs> He's just being kind of unusual. So, but you know, each to their own. Live and let live. So we were not happy with this spot. So we're gonna move on and let him enjoy the spot. It is pretty busy here. following the family now. Jimmy has already moved on. Another thing is there is no internet reception for them. I have a Wi-Fi booster, so I was getting internet. Not very good internet, really slow. So this place was kind of a bust. But you know, you win some, you lose some. And it's okay, <laughs> life goes on. And there are plenty of camping spots out there, so just find something new. I can't roll that window down. Well, that's why I said she'll this side. Yeah. Um, I can't follow the pin because I don't have service at all. Oh, okay. Um, I'll put it on my uh, GPS. Hold on one second. Okay. So we're just going to head to um, Randall just to see about internet and then to move on to the location. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, can I follow you? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. All right, so I've got it in my GPS. Yeah, they are not getting any internet or phone service. Well, Dana's not. So, okay, let's continue on. It's a shame because this spot really is beautiful and maybe we shouldn't have chose the weekend to come here. So, bad planning on our part. Like I was telling her, I'm gonna go to Randall, which is about 13 miles away. I will say that was one of the most unusual camping experiences that I've had with the loud partying going on at night and then waking up in the morning to a guy being very vocal and loud um, just to himself. Uh, I, I don't know if he was speaking to the crowd because it seemed like he was speaking to everybody and he was just ranting and going on and on. But he, it was kind of like he was yelling at the top of his lungs or speaking very loudly. That's why the police were called. And um, I even heard a woman get up that morning. I just ended up cutting on my stereo and uh, playing relaxing music and it kind of drowned him out. That was my fix to the situation, but I did hear a woman get up, and she said she had three children there. They were just trying to camp there for the weekend. If he could keep it down, she said that he was scaring her children. So, yeah, that was unfortunate, but, um, you know, 
as far as we go, he had gotten there before us, and it's a free camp spot, so everyone's entitled to camp there. Um, so since he had gotten there before us, we just decided that we should leave because, you know, our um, houses are on wheels, so we can just start the engine and go. No biggie. So that's what we ended up doing. And we went into town, got some internet service, and then decided to go to a campground that was 30 miles, I'd say, east of Rife Flag towards Mount Rainier. I had been there before previously with some other friends. That's how I knew of the spot, and it's an amazing spot. This is the way to Mount Rainier. It's very scenic and beautiful here. It is an overcast day. Welcome to Washington. <laughs> and the clouds are touching the, or covering the top of that mountain in the distance. It didn't rain where we were, but it seems like it has rained here. The road is wet. It's another thing it does a lot in Washington is rain. just went through Randall, very small mountain town. They're not getting any internet here either. Um, the next town is Packwood and we're gonna stop there. We didn't see Jimmy in that town so maybe he had the same idea and has headed to the next town and it's not that far. I think it's less than 10 miles. Well, it should say here. Oh, nope, it's 15. 15 miles to Packwood. Yakima is 89 miles. It's the way I came one year when I was um, meeting Carolyn. Small motel. This is the Cowlitz Valley Ranger Station, Gifford National Forest. Yes, this is. Oh, it says White Pass. Grazing in the field. Oh, there's some big ones right there. The cows here are definitely different from when I was in Arizona. They seem kind of skinny in Arizona. Pretty plump here. Oh, pretty river. Well, the sun has finally decided to peek its head out. Welcome to Packwood. into it now. Mall marker 130 on Highway 12 headed east. familiar. I guess I have been through here. 
Oh yeah, because I stopped at that coffee and bakery. That's where me and Carolyn went to get internet. Because there was none here. Blue Spruce Saloon and Grill. I'm here, I'm here, thank you. Yep, there's just RVs parked all along the roadside. I guess we're pulling over here. Near Blanton's Market. Okay, I feel like I'm blocking the... I'm gonna pull right here. <laughs> So we are going to go back to the coffee shop just for a little bit and sit there before we head to the camp spot, which is only five miles away, so not too bad. Well, we are heading on. Continue on US, 12 east for five miles. It's a cute little town. You can always come back. It's uh, only five miles from my destination. We're entering the Gifford Pinoche National Forest. I think that's how you pronounce that last part. Oh, some tall trees here. I just saw an elk on the side of the road just sitting there chewing on something, staring out into the road. This is a very small road, so not always suggested for our larger rigs. Hopefully it's open because the it's a pretty small spot. This is a popular place for car camping. See there's three there. I made it to the end of the road and I was able to turn around, but it's very tight back here. I, I suggested that Dana and Steve park up there because they might not be able to turn around up here. So, um, yep, they're, they're walking to check it out now. So yeah, if you want to see the last time I was here, which was with Caravan Carolyn and Eric, Nomadic Fanatic, we stayed here a couple days. It's a wonderful spot. But like I said, it's very congested to get back here, so I wouldn't suggest it in too large of a rig. So beautiful. Look at all the moss growing on the rocks. It's so thick. They're going to try to park in front of me because I believe there's a room. And here he comes slowly. <laughs> Scrapity scrape flapper. Doing a great job. Great job. <laughs> awesome job. Awesome job. <laughs> yeah, just follow the road edge. Some people already are down there. Um, getting down to the river can be a chore because <laughs> there is a ledge here. There is an easy spot here. That's easier. This looks more sloped than it was the last time I was here. The water's so clear here. Very beautiful. Oh, she got it. What do you think, Mumu? Are you going to steal her stick? Get her stick. <laughs> She's sniffing. She's like, maybe. Hello. 
<laughs> oh, twice. That's not skipping rocks. That's like throwing boulders. Sheep. Yeah. There's a small trail. We're gonna take it and see where it leads to. What is it? Uh huh. There's a little bug inside. It's like Ooh, and you just touched it. Gross. I know it's a snot bug or something like that. <laughs> and they're inside it. Uh -huh. So the, oh, there's. Oh, if there's something edible, yeah, I'll let you know. Look how big these trees are. So pretty. Oh, well, I guess the um, the trail doesn't go that far. Don't walk into people's camp, Cheslin. Ooh, nice sandy beach. Such a beautiful spot. What do you think, Mumu? It's a beautiful spot? Yes. Okay, go. Go, ahead, go down to the beach. Well, that was uneventful. Not very far, but it's still worth doing. The views around here are just amazing. We came up the steep way. Be careful. See? I have Gotta make sure you got your footing. I don't. I have <laughs> I had flip-flops on too. Oh, so just be careful. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Hey, you guys slap me. Hey, watch the Sorry. Stick. Okay. Help your sister. <laughs> Help your know. sister. Help. I got it. Oh, she's got it. Okay. <laughs> Hey everybody, it's Aubrey, and unfortunately, Aja got lost in a mountain. We made it here safely, though. Thanks for asking. All right, anyway, Aja got lost in that mountain over there, so we should expect her in about an hour. She won't be here in an hour. And I'm taking over Aja's channel. <laughs> Thank you. I love the applaud. Doing the victory dance, doing the victory dance. Crazy little children. Anyways, we ended up staying there for a day because um, some things had happened and I had to end up leaving early and heading to Scott and Terry's because I had refrigerator problems, which will be in the next video. I'm going to be fixing my refrigerator because... It just stopped working, so, and I had a lot of food in there, which was not a good situation. I did have to end up throwing some stuff away, but anyways, that place was awesome, and like I said, I'd been there before. I'll put a link to the last time I was there at the end of the video, so just look for that, and um, I want to thank y'all for hanging out with me. I'm going to go ahead and end it here, so... Hopefully we'll see you next time. Until then, stay safe and honored bound. Love you guys out there. Bye for now. I'll put a little blooper at the end. Hope you enjoy. Hey everybody, it's Abra. <laughs> <laughs> when did your name turn to Abra? <laughs> Is that Aja and Abra? I can't Aubrey? <laughs> focus. I called you Aubrey once. Get out, focus. Everybody shut up. <laughs>